Oregon's largest airport is getting a makeover, and it is more than just a typical renovation. They are doubling the size of the place, but what's really going to blow your mind is the design they have chosen. The designers have brought a literal forest into the airport as they have constructed a massive nine-acre wooden roof. But that's not the only impressive part of its renovation. Let's take a closer look at what they have planned for this iconic airport. Before we take off into the stunning transformation of Portland International Airport, make sure to land a subscription for the latest updates on architectural marvels and groundbreaking projects. Portland International Airport, which is also known as PDX, has a fascinating history that dates back to the 1920s. The city's first airport was the Swan Island Municipal Airport, which was dedicated by none other than Charles Lindbergh in 1927. However, by the 1930s it became clear that Swan Island was too small to handle the growing demands of air travel. In 1936 the city purchased the current site for PDX. It was 700 acres of land along the Columbian River. Construction started as a part of a New Deal project and the airport officially opened in 1941 as Portland Columbia Airport. It was opened just in time to support military operations during World War II. Over the decades, PDX has seen several expansions and improvements, including the opening of a new terminal in 1959 and the addition of international flights in the 1960s. Then, in 1974, PDX extended its runway to accommodate jumbo jets. Also, in the 1970s, the terminal building was renovated and expanded in 1977. This renovation didn't last long, as by the 1980s, the terminal building began an extensive renovation with the aim of updating PDX to meet future needs. The current H-shaped design of Portland International Airport was completed just before a pivotal moment in history on September 10, 2001. Designed by the zimmer gunsel franska partnership, this renovation added the A, B and C concourses along with a new light rail connection. Over the years, PDX has constantly evolved, adapting its layout and features to meet the changing needs of travellers and modern aviation. In late 2016, the Port of Portland, along with several airlines, planned out a project to balance terminal and concourse usage and increase the capacity of the airport. Six new gates were added to Concourse E, which got a 700-foot extension. This expansion increased the space, yes, but it also allowed Southwest Airlines to move from Concourse C to join United Airlines in the newly expanded Concourse E. Meanwhile, Alaska Airlines, American Airlines and JetBlue took over concourses B and C. After three years of construction, Concourse E officially opened on July 15, 2020. But that was just the beginning. Concourse A, which had served its purpose for years, was demolished in November 2019. In its place, the airport built an expanded Concourse B. Four jet bridges, six ground loading zones and improved concession stands were added to this place. The new Concourse B opened on December 8th, 2021, which was another big milestone in PDX's expansion. Then came the main event, the expansion of the main terminal. This ambitious five-year project began in March 2020. The authorities wanted to create more open space and extend the terminal 100 feet to the west. To make way for the expansion, the concourse connector was permanently closed in July 2021 and the construction started. The project was expected to be completed by May 2024, but due to some construction setbacks, the opening was delayed by three months. Finally, on August 14, 2024, the new pre-security terminal opened to the public and it took everyone by surprise. Before the opening, Everyone was frustrated and questioned the delay, but after seeing the results, they were amazed and totally satisfied. The design of Portland's International Airport's new terminal is nothing short of a masterpiece. 
It perfectly blends modern architecture with the natural beauty of the Pacific Northwest. The Port of Portland partnered with ZGF, which is a local architectural firm, to create a space that feels more like a peaceful walk through a park than a typical airport experience. Their goal was to invite passengers and employees to celebrate the stunning environment that defines this region. One of the most amazing features of the design is the incredible nine-acre wooden roof. This roof is a mass timber structure sourced from ecologically managed forests. The process to bring this to life was not quick or simple. It took six years of collaboration between the Port of Portland, ZGF, sustainable forestry experts, regional tribes and local mills. The shared mission was to make sure the health of local forests is preserved while also supporting the local economy. As a result, they managed to build a roof that is both beautiful and really connected to the community. Every piece of wood used in the construction of this roof came from forests within a 300 mile radius of the airport. Impressively, 72% of the wood was sourced from landowners who are Forest Stewardship Council certified or practicing ecological forestry. Even more special, 16% of the wood came directly from tribal lands. This means the architects were telling the truth when they said they were building this roof in collaboration with the community. But we are not just impressed by their choice of material, it is the construction itself that has blown everyone's minds. The design team worked closely with construction pros to develop a unique modular approach. They decided to assemble the roof piece by piece. This careful planning and execution made the roof the largest mass timber project ever undertaken in the area, as they used 3.5 million board feet of wood. The roof is now a symbol of sustainability, as it reduces the need for steel and other materials. Inside, the design continues to impress. 49 skylights of various shapes and sizes are strategically placed throughout the roof, which allows natural light to flood 60% of the terminal. The effect is stunning. There are bright, open spaces that connect travellers to the natural world outside. The interior is further enhanced with expansive views of the airfield and surrounding landscapes which creates a serene atmosphere that feels anything but industrial. The design even draws inspiration from traditional weaving techniques, giving the structure a rich, textured appearance. Beyond aesthetics, the terminal is built to last. It is designed to withstand a seismic event with a magnitude of up to 9.0. This will make sure this beautiful space remains safe and secure for years to come. Another incredible thing about this expansion is its focus on local businesses. The authorities have made sure all 23 of the new shops and restaurants are local businesses. So, whether you are craving a Blue Star Donut or want to check out the new Loyal Legion spot, you are supporting Portland's own. It's a great way to bring a bit of the city's charm right into the airport. The airport's commitment to locals does not stop with food and shopping. They also partnered up with the Regional Arts and Cultural Council to fill the terminal with art. There are around 20 new public artworks and a dedicated gallery space, all of which showcase the talent from around the region. And if you're someone who finds airports stressful, PDX has thought of you too. They brought in experts from Terrapin Bright Green, and placed landscape architects to create a more relaxing environment. The terminal is now filled with trees, gardens and over 5,000 plants. The idea was to make the space feel calmer and more connected to nature, and they have succeeded in doing so. Did you know this airport was known for its iconic carpet that travellers love to take photos of? The airport's original carpet was installed in 1987 and was designed to symbolise the crisscrossing north and south runways. When renovations began, people wondered if the airport would change things up and say goodbye to that beloved design. Well, PDX had a surprise for everyone. They brought back the carpet. 
Well, not exactly the old carpet, just a new one with the old design. A custom designed carpet from J&J Flooring Group was installed, which is more than 85,000 square yards. In fact, it covers about 90% of the terminal. But don't get too distracted by the carpet. There is plenty more to check out in the new and improved PDX. Let's have a look at the new facilities. PDX's facilities are designed to make your travel experience smooth and enjoyable. The airport features one passenger terminal with four concourses, B, C, D and E, which now have a total of 60 gates. The best thing it has done so far is requiring all airport shops and restaurants to charge no more than their off-airport locations. They have also installed a micro-cinema, which is run by Hollywood Theatre. It will show free short films so that the passengers in the waiting area can have a great time. Other than this, there is a local distillery and even a bike repair station. The terminal also has stadium seating, which gives you a comfortable spot to relax before your flight. Travellers are also loving the updated security checkpoint, where new processing lanes move bins via conveyor belts. This makes everything faster and smoother. No more waiting around for bins to return. Looking ahead, PDX is planning for an annual passenger capacity of 35 million by 2045, all while reducing its carbon footprint by 70% through thoughtful renovation. And yes, there are more exciting phases in the works. Even after all these amazing facilities were installed, the project is not complete yet. Phase 2 is currently underway which is focusing on expanding post-security spaces on the terminal's north and south ends. While construction continues, the space is open to passengers in a temporary setup, with about half of the concessions beyond security already available. This phase is expected to be completed in 2026. This means in 2026 this airport will have new small plazas, pavilions and active corridors. This will make this already great airport a lot more amazing. From its massive wooden roof to its lush indoor gardens, Portland International Airport's makeover has redefined what an airport can be, where nature and design meet for an unforgettable experience. So. What do you think of PDX's transformation? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And if you're into seeing more stunning architectural feats and innovative design projects from around the world, be sure to subscribe to the channel. There's plenty more to discover. Have you been to this airport yet? If so, share your experience with me in the comments below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.